you for choosing our channel. This video is concerned about PhD in the Netherlands. Here we cover PhD regulation, typical admission requirements, PhD supervision and duration, assessment, living expenses, salary and tax of PhD in the Netherlands with some more general information about the country and welfare. To start with, let's look at some statistics about higher education in the Netherlands. The Netherlands has 15 public universities, 5 private universities and 48 University of Applied Sciences. As you can see, the top 5 University of the Netherlands according to QS World University Rankings 2020 are 1. Delft University of Technology 2. University of Amsterdam 3. Eindhoven University of Technology 4. University of Groningen 5. Leiden University For our videos, we have chosen QS World University Ranking as it is more common and accepted ranking among the academics globally. The other rankings however ended up with a rather similar number. For doing a PhD in the Netherlands, similar to other countries, admission and application are the very first steps. Although it is very difficult to provide a general statement regarding the admission requirements of doctorate candidate, the following are rather common in most of the universities. Doctoral candidates must hold a master's degree. In exceptional cases, the university may admit a candidate without a master's degree to a doctoral program. Good communication skills and proficiency in English is another basic requirement for PhD admission. However, admission requirement for each PhD positions varies depends on the host university, supervisor and field of study. So, we recommend you to read the job description of each post so that you do not miss any important information. Similar to almost everywhere else, PhD students are supervised with an academic. However, the supervisor's status is provisional until their official appointment, shortly before the dissertation defense ceremony takes place. In term of duration, a doctoral program must have a duration of at least three years full-time. In general, four years is the typical length of PhD in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, PhD candidates defend their dissertations during a traditional public ceremony. The Dutch PhD defense is very formal. Actually, the ceremony has a very special protocol and too long to be discussed here. However, that does not have any effect on your education so we omit that. The quality of doctoral programs is assessed as part of overall quality monitoring in higher education. Assessment of the candidate's progress is based on individual arrangements made by the candidate and the supervisor. The Netherlands is considered as a country where the cost of living is relatively high. Similar to many other places, accommodation is the major cost. Renting a flat apartment is a common housing solution for students and its cost apparently depends on the city. For instance, Amsterdam is the most expensive city in the Netherlands. The estimate of the cost of living is not an easy job. The official number that we can consider is the cost of a visa or resident permit. Immigration and Naturalization Service, which is under the Ministry of Justice and Security set the minimum financial requirement for a residency permit visa for students to €897.56 per month. That means €700 to €900 Euro per month might be the minimum requirement of one individual. The average cost of food accommodation, and service in Amsterdam for a single student are as follows. Food, 300 to 400 euro per month. Public transport, 
bicycle is the cheapest and the most common mean of transport in the country. But if you like, you can use public transport for around 50 euro per month. Typical student accommodation rent, 400 to 600 euro per month, single room flat. Before discussing salary in the Netherlands, can we ask you to subscribe to our channel to support our activities? Now, let's talk about the salary of PhD students in the Netherlands. Salary of doctoral candidates is set based on the collective agreement Dutch universities. As of April 2020, a gross monthly salary between 2,325 euro first year and 2,972 euro fourth year. The number that we discussed so far is the gross salary also known as before tax money. In the Netherlands, the major deductions are income tax and social security tax, which is around 16 to 22 percent for the salary range of PhD students. To be more precise, for 2,325 euro before tax which is the typical salary of PhD in the first year, you will have 1,957 euro after tax take home money. But for 2,972 euro before tax, you will have 2,331 euro after tax. We are almost finished talking about the PhD in the Netherlands. There are a few things to be mentioned. Social welfare and quality of life in the Netherlands are of a high standard. We thought to mention a few of the benefits of living in this country such as child benefits, a maternity leave and unemployment benefit. Child benefit is between 220 to 300 euro for each child under 18. Maternity leave is for at least 16 weeks, while paternity leave is paid out for two days only. If you have worked at least 26 of the last 36 weeks you will receive three months of unemployment benefits. Many students have some concerns about living in a country where English is not an official language. Although Dutch is the official languages in the Netherlands, almost all universities in the country provide education and research in English, which makes it easy for international students. In addition to that, according to F Education First, the Netherlands is the best non-native English speakers across the globe. In short, the quality of life in the Netherlands for PhDs are of high quality and students can concentrate on their research without having big other concerns. Can we ask you to subscribe to our channel to support our activities?